What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles the YouTube channel. So today we are covering Picaram. I know it's not a brand new Battle Styles deck, uh, but it's very important to cover this deck because it actually just won a huge tournament. It won the uh, GG Tour Chill TCG Tournament, followed by Israel Sosa. Uh, very, very good player. I'll have a link down below to his Twitch. Uh, he streams pretty much every weekend and it's cool to note that like in this format of battle styles with urshavu and uh the other urshavu are all like running rampant that sosa was able to take down this tournament going 13 2 and 1. Uh, let me look at his matches real quick so he beat beat whimsicott he beat uh, orbital he beat restram beat eternatus lost to psychic mewtwo which was a deck i was from thinking about covering but we decided to do this one instead uh beat dragapult beat uh, beat Mad Party, beat ADP Zashian, beat uh, Green's Red Shizar. So he played against two Green Red Stars, beat them both. Then he went to day two. He beat Grass Mewtwo, which is like the Rillaboom Mewtwo deck. Beat uh, Victini Mewtwo, which is like Victini VMAX with Mewtwo. He lost to Eternatus, which is like pretty, I think that's a pretty rough matchup. Beat actually his only Urshavu he played against. He played against Rapper Strike Urshavu and beat it. He tied against Mewtwo Mew. Um, which one is this one? Let's see if we can see his list. Uh, it looks like it was like the Giratina, Incineroar, Reshizar, like super like teched out Mewtwo Mew. I guess it doesn't really doesn't have a variant, but he tied so that way he can just make it into the finals or top eight. Uh, top eight, he put against a Pikaram. He beat that, beat Luke Metal in top four, and beat Basalfion deck. Uh, which was like Basalfi on Reshi's art and stuff like that. So it's the same old Mewtwo Mew uh, Bolted uh, Picaram deck that we've seen before. The only new inclusions of this deck are going to be uh, we, so we know Mewtwo is good against Urshavu, right? You can punish them, hit them for weakness, stuff like that. They have a Jirachi, then it's a little bit uh, different, of course. Uh, but it's just a really s consistent, strong deck. You still have the Hammers. Hammers is still going to be really good against Urshavu because they need multiple energies to set up. So that's good. Against uh, anything that needs multiple energies, Crush Hammer is just good. It now plays Fan of Waves, which can put a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon on the bottom of their deck. So you can negate them that way. There are a ton of special energies in this game now, which is pretty cool. We see one tax switch. You Usually the list I used to play would have four energy switches, but now we're playing one tag switch. Just be able to move energy from one tag team to another of your Pokemon. Uh, so it can go from tag team to a non-tag team, but it has to start with a tag team. Um, outside of that, every Pokemon's pretty much the same. Uh, three bolts to start off to get with the Electrify to get the energy on the field. You can power up Mewtwo. Mewtwo can go into like a Tandem Shock and or a full Blitz play, depending on what you want to do. Electromagnetic Radar is going to find you two GX and EX Pokemon. Cherish Ball is going to find you a, G uh, a GX Pokemon. And the Quick Ball is going to find all your basics. Of course, everybody's a basic in this deck. Air Balloon is for that free retreat. Big Charm is really good against certain decks. Like against the Fire deck, you can put this on the Pika Rom and they can't uh, use the... Uh, Reshi, Reshizard plus Zigzagoon to knock you out. There's probably some other math as well with the big charm. I think it does help against uh, Raichu and Raichu can stay alive. I think Pika actually stays alive, right? Uh, 260 minus 20 for resistance and then plus a sword is 290, 60. So maybe still gets knocked out by assorted adp i have to do the math i can't remember the top of my head hood is really good because now there's mimikus everywhere because mimikus is very strong to shut down your mutes and mutes so you can't use them um uh, only three speed i'm used to playing four and ten lightning the swells are always really good at counter stadiums because it basically is like two stadiums uh so yeah we're gonna play this deck it's just a simple you know picarom very consistent it's got the coins got some disruption it the techie cards are going to be um, of course, the balloon, or not balloon, the charm in the hood. I guess you get to change those if you want more. Less of those is up to you. But let's play some Picarom. It's been a minute. But, um, yeah, Sosa's so showing, like, hey, Picarom is still good. And, oh, look at there. Is that better? Looks better. Picarom is still good in this format, even though, uh, actually, what's very interesting is, like, none of the Rapid Strike decks are doing, like, fantastic like the only one is like maybe urshavu and that is like some days right uh so let's see my opponent is gonna go first if we play against victini v that's also a good matchup which is pretty interesting because that deck is pretty rampant uh so a hand is you know we don't want to start with this this is okay if they attach energy uh this we could discard and there we see a alcremi alcremi okay i think alcremi v max does damage massive of psych energy attached to it or on the field 
Um, we could maybe turn one knock this out if we decide to go crazy. Hmm. It'd be very hard. But I think we'll just rather just go bolt in here. Like, quick a lightning bolt and put that down. Attach this. Play this. Discard this. Research. Air balloon going to the Oranguru. Yeah, if we can knock out this guy, we'll look okay. There we see an, not an instructor, primate wisdom. Instruct is the other uh, guru. So let's see what else he has here. Just a pass on our turn. Okay, not too much. So we'll fire off with the hammer. Uh, heads. Uh, we can quick a lightning, grab a boltin. Uh, right. Uh, we do not prize a boltin. That's good. Two, prize a Mewtwo. Now all the hammers are in there. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Prized one Marnie. Prize a balloon five six seven so we prize three energies five six seven yeah three lightnings unfortunately so three lightning um maybe an electromagnator right no a coke a dadini ah, I can't remember them all none of the super crucial cards we have like just some of the counts off like Mewtwo uh, so. There is Coco, so we'll go here. He said, well played. We'll grab Dadini. We'll play Dadini. Hmm. So we didn't get I don't see his winning here. I don't know why he said well played. Did I miss a win somehow? I don't think we had a win. <laughs> okay. He hit me with the well played and I'm very confused right now. We did discard a second hammer and the second reset stamp, unfortunately. There is a capture energy. Trying to Porygon, most likely. I imagine that's what this deck plays. We did discard a speed energy as well. But if you can find a boss sword to bring a Porygon to get a knock on it. Oh, it's another Alchemy, actually. Okay. Just quick ball. Maybe I should have got Mewtwo out and and um, electrified to the Mewtwo so that way. Oh yeah, if we did Mewtwo, he's weak to metal though. It's not psychic like I thought it was. Primate Wisdom, but we're weak to psychic, so I don't want to use Mewtwo in this matchup. A dormant to find some energies. Okay. Okay. So big fan. We'll hammer. Do that one. We'll air balloon. Chairs ball for me too. Then I'm just gonna dump the me too. There's really no need for it. I think we'll grab Crobat here. So I can draw five and keep a switch. We'll go speed. Retreat. That's 150, 170, 120. So right now we'll just full blitz. Put one on the right here and right here. We can catch a lightning switch. Tandem shock, 160 for knockout. Evolution instance for another Alchemy V Max. Okay. Can we have multiple lightning sprites? Maybe we'll have enough to take a knockout with the. Bolton V. There's a Psychic Energy Rose. All right. So Rose plus Cricketune has just happened. That's pretty baller. Let's 
So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 6, 12, 18, 24. So you had to discard four energies for a knockout. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't think he can knock out Raichu and Raichu next turn. That'd be pretty cool if he did. We'll do this. I'll just hood this guy into Marnie. Now he could put a rose on top of the deck with this. Oh, we also have a charm as well. So charm could be good. So we'll charm, we'll retreat, we'll tandem shock, go down to three. Marnie, Lightning, Mew to Mew. So let's see what he does here. He could go for an adornment. So primary wisdom. We do have 290, but adornment would get a bunch of psychic out. And then he get G Max Whisk the following turn, which is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So we see a psychic extra going to this alchemy, okay. How many switch has he played? Just one. Five psychics in this card pile. There's a rose. Going to discard the hand again. That's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. Exciting stage to draw three. Kirkatoon lets you draw three. So he's, he's potentially he's got like, he's like basically has both Orin and Gurus in the field, which is pretty nice. Okay, so he could do 180 here, 6, 12, 8, uh, 240. And he's going to discard the energies off the active on our turn. How many are in there? No boss orders. Let's go electromagnetic, discard this, and this, and this. We can go Pika. We can Lightning Juniper or Research. Now I can either paralyze him and hope he hits Switch Rose. But I'm going to switch to Boltent and just Bolt Storm. And we'll see what he has. So you see he does play um, Cheryl as well, which can heal all the damage off, which would be pretty upsetting. So we'll see what he has here. Okay, there's Primate Wisdom. This Alchemy deck is pretty cool. Being able to heal the energy, Rose plus Cricketune. Rose plus Cricketune is like a really cool concept that we haven't seen. There's a Cheryl, we're gonna hear the 190 off of it. There was the exciting stage for one. I'm gonna swell into speed, into bolt storm. Because boss order doesn't win him the game and only does 60. Raichu will still stay alive. We have boss order if he does do that. Uh, unless they play a stamp, then stamp could potentially harm us some. Uh, but I think we have all the Dedenias left. We have uh, one in the disc one, maybe maybe one's in the price card. So we'll have access to one. One quick ball though. I really do like this deck a lot. It's really cool. I think it's a really cool concept. So using the Rose plus Cricketune engine 
I, I've I've heard talks about it before. I never see research. Dump into hand, discards a capture, uh, an incense, and a boss order. I'm pretty sure. There's a quick ball, discarding another cricketoon. Can you double cricketoon? Okay, there we see Didini. But I don't know what the did. I don't think Didini gives him game ever. I think he's just like trying to find a Cheryl, maybe. Does he play more Cheryls? There's two so far. There's the escape rope. We'll send up the Dedini just because it has a one retreat if we need to retreat this turn. I don't want to send a Crobat and then he like stamps us. So my plan right now is just to boss order this guy up and win. Which it looks like that might happen. He hasn't played a supporter card yet, so we'll see what happens. Could be Stamp as well. Marnie. Do you need like multiple hammers? There we see a capture energy to Cricketune. Okay. There's Mew for bench barrier. Energy recycler to get back some energies. Is that a second air? Yeah, it is. So two energy recyclers. Okay. So there's all of the psych energies. What else does my opponent have? All right, just pass. I really do like his deck a lot. And there you go. Yeah, that's a really interesting deck. Can we see his list? Is his list public? We'll find out here in a second. Um, let's see. If it is, we'll save it. Oh, it is. Busted. All right, let's open deck manager. Let's look at this list. Let's look at this. Here it is. So. All right, so he plays two Cheryls. Okay. But yeah, the Crooked Tunes allow you to draw up to three cards in your hand. Alchemy VMAX. Got the GMAX Whisk. Very, very cool deck. I like it a lot. Uh, be able to rose to get two energies, of course. Um, so you're at least hitting for 180 every turn if you want to do it that way with G Mask Whisk. Uh, I, this deck also probably gets more power in the next set with the Psychic Horse Dude. I don't know its name though. Um, I think we already have opponent's deck saved, so we'll do opponent's deck two. Because there's another opponent stuck that want to play and test against. Alright, we'll play one game if you wrong. That was still a pretty cool game. Like, that was a pretty cool deck. Like, I will say. That was pretty cool. Alright, let's see. I'm going to get Nico as 33. Alright. So, let's see what happens. Win the coin flip? Okay, so you, would you like to go first? No. Um, there's probably certain situations where you want to go first. I don't know any on top of my head right now, of course, but there might be. Start this. We quick lightning, quick Marnie, Mewtwo, Bolton, Marnie. Hope to hit switch. Heatran GX. So this one you definitely want to go for a second because they play welders and stuff like that. So we see communication, discard a Nine Tails. Ooh, it's a Bright Look version. Okay, that's pretty cool. I uh, haven't seen Bright Look Nine Tails in a minute, but it is a really good card. Um, be able to discard two lightnings. So we see he plays Victini V. We play GX cards, um, which is pretty good. We don't care too much about the Victini. Uh, hammers are going to be uh, maybe somewhat relevant. Uh, if we get Hammer turn one, okay, there's a Hearth coming down. If we get Hammer turn one, we, oh, he discards a Crystal. Anyways, if we Hammer turn one, discard the Fire Energy that makes him have to use Welder next turn. Uh, it's Fire to the active. Okay, I thought it'd be Fire to this guy. Quick discard the Fire. Maybe finds a, okay, Crobat. So, not going to go DD any the other two cards in his hand. Must be like Welder or something. But we're definitely just going to Marnie that way and pass it our turn. All right, so let's start the party. So, we'll do this for this. We'll grab ourselves a Boltant. We'll play Hammer. Let's go. Tails, Boltant, Quick, a Marnie. We'll keep the stamp. We'll grab, not you, Mewtwo. We'll go Mewtwo into Marnie. We'll keep the reset stamp for later. Whoa. 
Uh, so unfortunate turn. Uh, I guess we'll try the lightning and just pass right now and see if he has. I mean, if he goes welder energy, he gets steam assault, not Makoko, which is like pretty upsetting. So we'll see what happens here. Hmm. Does he have welder plus th three energies in hand? He's got this, so he definitely has some form of energies. So energy goes to Victini. I guess if he finds the VMAX in welder, he can attack with that this turn. Uh, there's two, but like I said, oh wait, no, Victini. Okay, so no, just a pass. Is his hand that bad? Question mark. The real question is, Do I do this? I hope it switch so I save a lightning. I think that's what I do here. Because if I don't, I'll dump a lot of lightnings. Okay, we'll play hammer. We'll do this. R retreat. Put down bolt and put down crowbat. Oh, I should have probably. Uh, that's a little misplay. Yeah, I probably should have air balloon first, maybe. Who knows? Now, if he goes VMAX knockout, we're a little bit in trouble, but it's at least only two price cards. We can send him this bolt to attach air balloon. Um, and there we go. So my opponent just must not have welder. And that's the only unfortunate thing when you're playing against, like, when you're playing welder decks, if you just don't hit the welders, you just, like, lose. Um, that's why I would not play welder. I'm, like, a huge fan of Savali, because Savali, or at least some kind of, like, engine, right? Kirkatoon, Savali, something. Um, just to help you draw cards. So we'll play one more game of the deck. Uh, the cool thing about Pika is you don't need to like rely because you have like Dini, Crobats. As long as you get energy, hey, you're doing good. Um, so yeah, Pipe Status is calling the coin flip. We've got the Volcania coin, lost the coin flip. So let's see if we're going first or second. And we are going to go first, which is kind of unfortunate, but it does happen. All right, so good. We'll just big charm pass most likely. Uh, we could wait to see if we have air balloon. We'll touch a lightning for sure. Press done. Yeah, we'll wait and see if we hit air balloon or something first. The unfortunate thing with this switch and big charm. Hopefully we find something. Oh, man, dude, he's gonna have like flare starter plus welder plus energy. So it's green scorch deck. Okay. Okay, okay. So you gotta assume that greens has a lot of space, but they're not weldering. There's a plant plus tackle. Okay, tackle. Um, we will see an attach energy. It put three on that guy, most likely. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But we have double hammer. Let's see what happens with the double hammer. We can big charm draw some first if we want to. Uh, so in this matchup, we unfortunately can't go the normal Mewtwo route. Wow, we get triple hammer. Let's try it again. Well, let's try it again. Let's go Big Charm, Crobat, hope to hit. Okay. So we go this for this. For Boltent, we can go Boltent, Air Balloon, the Boltent, switch into the Boltent, Marty, my opponent. And we hit a Speed plus Coco. Okay, Coco doesn't do anything right now. So we'll Speed for two. We'll Electrify, put two on this guy. Uh, if we can get a Ball Sword or bring this guy up next turn, that'd be pretty good. Uh, the only issue is he has played out, so we can't use Dini as of right now. Um, so we'll see what happens. We also can just retreat and like pretend to shock this guy for knockout. And then that only does 250, so it's not going to take a knockout there. But maybe we'll have enough energies in the field to... Hmm. Malolana, which will allow him to switch if he wants to go switch this turn. But switch doesn't do anything. It looks like... He... Yeah, those double hammers, like... It's pretty good. Send Kate, discarding boss order, gets greens, draw three. Okay. 
do we quick a lightning for Pika? Marnie, my opponent, hit Pika. Do 150, get energy in the field? That could be very good. I don't think we'll swing for like 300. That's a lot. We'll grab Pika. We'll Pika into Marnie. We get speed, hope to hit tax switch. We can still go retreat to this. Tandem shock. Go down to five. This guy can maybe take a knockout this turn. He would need welder three energies. There's the hearth, uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Does he have an extra energy? And he gets more energy. And he gets even more HP busted. Okay. So it's in a Bolton on our turn. We'll do this. To find Mewtwo. Well, Mewtwo stamp my opponent to three to get rid of that Malolana. We'll attach Lightning, Electromagnetic, discard one and two. To find this, I'm just gonna grab one right now. We'll play the Dedini. Hmm. No, we can't even swing this turn. No tag switch. Mm. I could Elder Goss for boss, but I don't know what that accomplishes. I could Elder Goss and try to hit attack switch. Hmm. I don't even know if tag switch is in the deck. I could treat and go for Tingler turn. But then I put all the energies back in my hand. Oh, I can static shock for 50. And I can, um, I can lightning ride for 250 next turn if I find tax switch. I don't even know if tax switch is in the deck, but if we can pull that play off, like if we get Marty tax switch, then we look pretty good. Volcanian comes down. Welder to the Volk. Hard retreat. Or does he do 230? Okay. My question, tax switch is in the deck. Is it two basics or is it two energies? Oh, that's very, that's very important, Josh. Okay, well, we didn't hit it anyway. That's terrible.
Okay, this is going to find double switch for game. Okay, energy retreat game. Whale played. Unless he doesn't have any energies left. Okay. He'd already green this turn. Okay, don't 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 do this to me. What? One, two, three. Oh, do this into switch. Research, speed, Bolton. My plan is to tag, tag team. He doesn't have any fires left. Great catcher. Okay. Fire crystal. Brings up Dudini. Brings up Mewtwo. Oh, that's game. Oh, boy. What a perfect setup. I thought we were going to make a comeback for a second. But then Crystal Great Catcher got me. That's such a cool deck. Um, very hard to play against. Like, he does... I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, only two switch. Hmm. Uh, maybe we play like a second right here, right here. We might be okay. That was a weird matchup. I know Sosa beat it twice, so. But Sosa is also a uh, way better player than me, so. Hmm. Not sure what happened. Hmm. He beat it twice. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he beat it twice. So, um. The power point sticking around for a long time was very, very good. Anyways, there we go. Barely lost. Oh, well. Uh, I haven't played this matchup. I've never played a matchup before, so that was pretty interesting. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, congratulations, congratulations to us one more time for winning. Um, Picarom is still alive. It's still a good deck. It's just super fast, super consistent, and it uh, doesn't need a lot of setups. So that's pretty nice. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for Road Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye.